Oh, good luck. Diamond down the inside with break leg. Here we go. Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and we're back again on F1 2016 Mobile Career Mode Part Number Two here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. So basically, what we're going to do, we're driving in the slowest car as Fernando Alonso in the McLaren Honda, uh, starting from last, uh, and um, yeah, we're going to be racing here, three lap race, very hard difficulty on the AI, and um, I've said it before, we are starting last. In the slowest car of the game. For the start of the Bahrain Grand Prix, we hope you're ready for an exciting evening's action. Yes, yeah, so uh, we are also having a default setup, so uh, I do not have the advantage of having uh, top speed or corner or a better cornering speed. So, well, let's see. I'll just show you my controls. Pro Sales, all the assists are off, so I'm not a noob. So here we go. Five red lights and lights out and away we go. We do not get the best of starts here. Compare that to Felipe Naz and Rio Harianto into turn one. We're gonna go and um, not the best of starts. Here we go. Diving into turn one, really cautious, just uh, missing there, Rio Harianto. And we are gonna be really, really cautious. Uh, not we should not touch anyone. We do not want front wing damage at all. We just, we just, just only by a margin. Uh, go past Pascal Verline like we we're about to crash and we're still in 22nd place diving down the outside of uh, two cars Felipe Naza out of nowhere good dive bomb there from Felipe Naza and we have gained three places um, by the end of the first sector Kevin Magnussen goes in wide he pushes Felipe Naza off the track the AI are running really rusty we always collide with the two cars and we also collide with our teammates Jansen Button and yeah we are up into P16 now Esteban Gutierrez is the next guy in front of us here we go into this really tricky corner and you can see Palmer away he pushes Sainz whoa that would have been a nasty crash on top of me uh, Carlos Sainz just almost flipped around and uh, like uh, I think that was Palmer I guess uh, who was of the track was joining in and now we are up into P13 by the end of the second sector pretty hectic start there from us uh, we've gained around um, nine places I guess yes we gained nine places uh, I do not know how to take this corner really well Bottas goes on wide and uh, this may be a good chance he gets a really compromised exit so we're gonna be in his slipstream and here we go into the final corner we get a really good run out of it and Baltry Bottas gets a really compromised one here we go we've been following him since that back straight and we are now gonna fly past him round the outside and even the two cars I don't know why are they wobbling the AI just seem to wobble on these long straights on uh, F1 2016 I break in pretty early and now you can see Danny Kivia and uh, the Haas car are still squabbling here and there we are now up into P10 by the end of the first lap and now Sergio Perez is the next guy in front of us here we go Kvyat tries to go down the inside we go in wide um, trying to leave inside he pushes me wide that is not good Daniel and he just pushed me out of track that is that's not fair and Grosjean is also there trying to come in for some action but we're gonna uh, deny him to get uh, past us and now we're again back down into P11 out of the points. Uh, last time we had a good P4 finish. Let's see. We just gave him. We go. We go. Go down the inside of Sergio Perez, who also went wide, just missed uh, the breaking point, and we overshot the corner. Both of us. I had the better run, and here we go, diving down the inside. We send it. And Danny Kibi, he goes round the outside again, but he like we had some contact. Kvyat goes really wide. And now we're up into P9 with the almost by the end of the second lap. So here we go. And can we again down the around the outside? And this is really good performance from the AI. Like that's this is a, a really good battle. Kivia is just like putting up a show. Felipe Massa goes fastest with a 137. That is pretty quick. And 
you can see now we again we're gonna have DRS this time and uh, before the DRS detection zone we uh, get past the Toro Rosso and now we send it down the inside of the Ferrari or Sebastian Vettel and now can he keep him at bay um, like this is the really weak point for the AI the straights and all but now can we catch Max Verstappen this is gonna be the question last up at the Grand Prix we have to catch him we have to catch him like we at least need a top six finish Vettel is now he's he's pretty strong in the middle sector this these slow technical corners this is the pace uh, part where the Ferrari has a lot of pace but we are able to take these corners really nicely right now I'm just getting into the flow of the circuit on the last lap and Verstappen's not really far we just ride the curb too much and uh, that gives us a really compromised run onto this straight here uh, we didn't get DRS unfortunately this time but I think we no, I don't think we can catch Max Verstappen right now. We get a really good run out of uh, that left-hander. But I think Verstappen's going to be P6, and we are going to be finishing the strong P7. And I just don't know how to take this corner. The breaking points are not clear. And here we go. Onto the back straight. Here we go. Nico Hulkenberg setting it down the end. So we go around the outside. Let's see what's going to happen. We almost get him. And wow, that was close from Nico Hulkenberg. And we finish in P7. What a race that was. And from last to P7 in three laps. That was close. And you can see these AIs still squabbling here and there. Trying to pass each other. Two runners. And let's use Felipe Mazza. What? Massa has won the race. How is that possible? I didn't see who won the race. Uh, I was concentrating on Nico Hulkenberg, but wow, he jumped the two Mercedes cars, and uh, we are actually uh, ahead of um, Nico Hulkenberg. He was really quick. He got the slipstream, and yeah, that was pre that was pretty good. That was sick from Nico Hulkenberg, and we secure another good. Uh, points finish and let's just see the standings we are currently sixth and ahead of the two rebels and Felipe Massa the underdog whoa he's in P3 that is amazing but we are ahead ahead of the two rebels and fifth in the constructors like you know I'm the alone guy who's scoring points here Jensen Button this time also didn't finish in the points so I think I'm going to be the only one who's going to be scoring points for McLaren Honda. And um, yeah, so that is it for today, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll be making some more career mode episodes in the future. So guys, till then, peace out.